So friends, Representative Jim Jordan is using his position on the House Judiciary Committee to demand details of some of the Department of Justice's ongoing investigations. And DOJ just sent a letter to Jordan with its reply, which was, in substance, pound sand. Let's talk about that, because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, I've got to tell you, I really kind of like this next story. Because Congressman Jim Jordan, head of the House Judiciary Committee, a committee that should probably be renamed, at least temporarily, to something like the House Committee to Obstruct Justice. Jim Jordan is demanding non-public information from the Department of Justice about the Biden classified documents thing, and I use that word thing advisedly, please put a pin in that. Here is the new reporting from NBC News about Jim Jordan's demand of the Department of Justice. Headline, Justice Department denies GOP request for non-public information on Biden documents probe. And that article begins, the Justice Department on Monday denied a request from House Judiciary Committee Chair Jim Jordan for sensitive information involving its probe into classified documents found at President Joe Biden's home and a former office. In a letter obtained by NBC News, a top Justice Department official said the department would cooperate as much as it could, but would not disclose non-public information about the probe. And friends, I want to read for you just a little bit of the letter the Department of Justice sent to Jim Jordan denying his request. Dear Representative Jordan, we are in receipt of your letter dated January 13th, 2023, to the Department of Justice regarding the department's investigation of the possible unauthorized removal and retention of classified documents or other records discovered at the Penn Biden Center for Diplomacy and Global Engagement and the President's Wilmington, Delaware private residence. And then they state the obvious, in case Jim Jordan missed the reporting about this, uh, the Attorney General has appointed a special counsel to investigate this matter. Now, friends, let me pause here for a second, because it's worth noting that Jim Jordan, head of the House Judiciary Committee, didn't make a request about Donald Trump's classified documents crimes or Mike Pence's classified documents thing where I use the word thing because it looks like it was probably improper retention by former Vice President Pence and looks like it's probably improper retention by President Biden. So that's why I call it the classified documents thing. Yes, they need to get to the bottom of it. The documents have been returned. But Jim Jordan doesn't care one whit about Donald Trump's classified documents crimes or Mike Pence's classified documents thing. No, he just wants to know about Biden. Well, you know what? Fairness and even handedness. Thy name is not Jim Jordan. The DOJ letter continues. Your letter expresses an interest in learning when the department became aware the documents had been discovered and the sequence of events that followed. In connection with appointing a special counsel, the Attorney General has provided significant information about how the matter came into the department, the steps the department took to investigate, and his appointment decision. And then the letter helpfully directs Jim Jordan to a footnote and refers him to Merrick Garland's 
public statements, just trying to be helpful, answer Jim Jordan's questions. The letter continues, your letter also requests non-public information that is central to the ongoing special counsel investigation. The department's long-standing policy is to maintain the confidentiality of such information regarding open matters. This policy protects the American people's interest in the even-handed, dispassionate, and effective administration of justice. Disclosing non-public information about ongoing investigations could violate statutory requirements or court orders, reveal roadmaps of our investigations, and interfere with the department's ability to gather facts, interview witnesses, and bring criminal prosecutions where wa warranted. And then here is perhaps my favorite part. Further, although Congress has a clearly legitimate interest in determining how the department enforces statutes, congressional inquiries during the pendency of a matter pose an inherent threat to the integrity of the department's law enforcement and litigation functions. Disclosures to Congress about active investigations risk jeopardizing those investigations and creating the appearance that Congress may be exerting improper political pressure or attempting to influence department decisions in certain cases. Members of Congress trying to influence DOJ's prosecutorial decisions? I mean, do we really think that the insurrectionists in Congress, including those who asked for pardons because they desperately do not want to be prosecuted for the crimes they committed on and around January 6th, for the insurrection, for their obstruction of official proceedings, do we really think they would use their committee positions and their committee powers to try to influence DOJ's prosecutorial decisions? Of course they would. And that's why the Department of Justice just told them to pound sand. Because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again soon.